everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to take a either a placemat or a bath mat, um, the kind without the rubber on the back, and turn it into a pillow. Um, so I started already, just so you didn't have to watch me sew for 15 minutes. Um, but these are two uh, bath mats from the dollar store. You're going to want to put them inside out and either hand sew or machine sew, depending upon um, what you're more comfortable with and what you have available. And you're gonna sew as straight as you can around the two long sides. Now, because I have fringe, uh, I have to flip my pillow back to right side out. If you don't have fringe, uh, you can sew the third side, one of the short sides, before flipping it. Uh, but I have fringe, so I'm gonna flip mine so it's the right way. And I'm just gonna quick sew the one side of the pillow. So I already threaded my needle just to make it a little bit quicker. Um, I'm gonna tip my screen so that you can actually see what I'm doing. Um, but I'm just doing a quick running stitch. Um, if you don't want to sew or you don't know how to sew, you can use fabric glue. If you're going to use fabric glue, I highly suggest that you um, it'll take you a little bit longer because you're going to want to um, do it the right way. You don't want it inside out and you're going to want to let it dry for a little bit before you attempt to stuff it. So this is really a um, big hole in this because of the type of material it is. So my knot wasn't staying through so I just had to do it a little differently. Um, you can also use, if you don't want to use, if you don't want to sew and you don't want to use fabric glue, you can use Stitch Witch. Um, if you've never heard of that, it's something found in the sewing aisle. It actually helps you hem your pants um, quickly. It's kind of like um, a fabric tape of sorts. And I totally just got that stuck in my tassel, so now I have to try to undo that. Okay. Um, the tassels do make it a little bit trickier um, with trying to get it done. So this is going to take me a couple minutes. It doesn't have to be a super tight stitch. Um, it does need to be small enough that your stuffing is not going to fall out. So you can use, and I did not use a big enough piece of thread. Um, you can either use a pillow that you purchased, um, if you have a pillow that's the right size of the mat, or you can use polyfill, which is what I'm going to use. So again, I'm just doing a quick, it's not perfect by any means, um, running stitch. It doesn't help that I'm trying to do it fast while talking. Okay. So you're going to want to stay as close to the edge of your tassels as you can so that it stays a pretty straight line. You can tug it a little bit, but you don't want to tug it too much because then you're going to, your fabric will not be straight anymore. It'll be puckered. So I am going to have to get another piece of string because this one is not to get the whole length. This real quick. Sorry, this isn't the most exciting part. Um, but again, because I didn't want to not show you the inside out part, so. Um, you can use any pattern you want as long as it's fabric. Like I said, this is um, technically a bath mat from the dollar store. So it cost me $2 to buy two 
placemats to turn it into a pillow. can buy them from anywhere. Um, you can use placemats as long as it's any type of fabric. And again, you can see I'm not doing super stall stitches. Um, enough to hold it together, but not, and awesome. Okay, that did not knot, so there we go. Save that for something else, grab a bigger piece. Sorry, this part, I think it's not overly exciting for you to watch. especially when I make a mistake and have to cut part of it out. Okay. Now to refine where it stops sewing. Okay. There we go. Like I said, this is um because it's a loose knit. My string is not staying in with where I knotted, so I'm actually going through the fabric and knotting it right onto the fabric. If it'll let me. But of course it's being difficult at the moment. I did the whole side faster than I'm long side faster than I'm doing this right now. And I think it's just because I'm trying to talk to you and not focusing on what I'm actually doing. So it should not take you long, but there we go. Now I'm back on track. You want to make sure that you're going through both layers of the cloth. Otherwise, you still won't have a closed pillow. So, now that I got that part done, I'm just knotting it so that my stitches don't come out. Okay. And now you're sewn on all three, three of the four sides. And like I said, if you have a pillow, actual pillow, you could use that. I'm just using polyfill. Um, you can buy it at any craft store. And you're going to stuff. You can stuff it as much or as little as you want to whatever you want your pillow to feel like. Um, and don't worry if it's a little lumpy because you can always keep working with it and flatten it out. Um, I've also seen if you buy ones that are more, um, like more of a plasticky, which would be harder to sew, um, but you could, um, you can fill it with plastic bags and put it outside and it becomes weatherproof. Um, filling it with plastic bags would also be a good way to recycle and a way to not make it, if you didn't have polyfill, 
because um, everyone has plastic grocery bags around. Um, but they just would be, that would be for more of an outside um, porch type pillow. Almost done. Just want to get this last part in. And just like a real pillow, of course, you can re-fluff it once it's in there and all done. So, okay. So I have mine pretty much how I want it, minus a few fluffs. So I'm not going to make you watch me sew again. All you're going to do is sew this part, this end up, and you have your pillow. So that's it. All right. I would love to see some of your pillows that you make. Bye.